Welcome to Camisthenics with Cameron. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite exercises, the glorious push-up. But we're not just going to show you how to do a good push-up, we're also going to talk about what muscles a push-up works and variations on the push-up that you can make to make a more tuned tool of the goals that you want to accomplish. So let's talk about the muscles that you can expect to work while doing push-ups. Everyone knows about the pecs. We got the glory muscles. Rock on. But there's so much more to the push-up story. Pecs are just the prologue. You've also got triceps that are being worked. You've got shoulders that are being worked. You've even got core. You've got abs. You've got lower back that are going to be worked. And if you do them in the right way, you can even work your upper back. All right. So with that covered, we're going to go ahead and start showing you how to do a proper push-up. But to do that, I got to get down on the ground and do these push-ups myself. So let's get started. All right, coming on down. When you're assuming the position, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your back is straight. Your entire body, straight as a board. I don't want to see none of this. I don't want to see none of this. This isn't yoga. This is American push-ups. We're going to do it like this, just like this, all right? Now, once you're up here, the trick to doing a good push-up you go all the way down, nose to the floor, nose to the floor, back up. Now, speed is your best friend when doing a push-up. I don't want to see none of this rapid fire push-ups, none of this crap, okay? This isn't doing nothing for nobody, all right? You start here, you go down slow. One, two, three, four. That is a proper push-up. All right, let's head back up. Now. Let's say you've done your push-ups, you've got your workout going, and your pecs are feeling it, your triceps are good, your shoulders are hot, and your core is feeling it as well. But you think to yourself, well, gosh, I've got more muscles in my body than just those. What about my upper back? Push-ups got a solution for you too. By making some simple variations, you can change and adjust the muscles that push-ups work. Let's get down and do another demonstration. All right. All right, so you're down in your push-up position, but you want to work your back, all right? So all you got to do, you just work your hands outward like that. Make a nice wide stance and then go down. And that's going to work your lats and your traps much more than a typical push-up. But let's say you don't want to work your lats. You want to work your pecs. That's why you're doing push-ups. But you want to emphasize them. So you come in close, do what we call diamond push-ups which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense because they're triangles. But you do a diamond push-up, and this isolates the inside of your pecs. It gives you a nice, good burn. And if it all just gets too much for you, you can always come down to your knees. Make it all that much easier, just like that. Whatever works for you. Now, unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Push-ups can be a deeply spiritual experience if you let them. Next week, we're going to be talking about pull-ups. Thanks for joining me. Cameron out.